has started. All right, so we're going to be continuing with some more uh, picture vocabulary. Is that okay? Okay. All right, so today, the first thing that we're going to start uh, looking at is office supplies. Office supply. Well done, well done, okay. So let's look at the first exercise. Okay, so the first thing that we have here is an eraser. Eraser. Well done. No, no, no. And this no. is a stapler. 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 Well done. And this is a hole punch. Hole punch. Well done. And this is a thumb. Thumb. Wait. Thumb tack. Thumb tack. Thumb tack. All right, let's see if we got everything correct. All right, so wait. Mm, and let's retry. First one is an eraser. 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 Then this is a hole punch. Hole punch. Hole punch. Then this is a thumb. Thumb tack. Thumb tack. Thumb, thumb tack. Then this is a stapler. 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 Well done. Well done. That is very good. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. What are these? Uh, pencils. From these? Pencils. Is it rubber bands? Pencils? Staples? Well done. Well done. And uh, number two is a uh, Group head. Oh, no, no, no. Three straws. Well done. Scissors. Try to say scissors. 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 Well done. Then the next one is... Stambler. Staples. Staples. Stable. Right, so let's stapler. Stapler. This is a stapler. 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 Can you see? Stapler. 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 Then sta staples. Staples. Right, staples in staples a stapler. In a stapler. So these are staples in a stapler. Staple in a stapler. Well done, well done. And the last ones are rubber pads. Rubber bands. Rubber bands. Well done. Okay. okay, here we have floppy disks, floppy disks, floppy disks, 
floppy disks. Floppy disks. Well done. And the second one is scotch tape. Tape. Scotch tape. Scotch tape. All done. And the next one. All done. And this one are file folders. File well, folders. File folders. All done. Then staple removers. They will remove it. Well done. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next exercise. Okay. Okay. So we've seen all these. What do you think is number one from these? What's number one? Slipper. Well done. Number two. Pistols. Well done. Three. Crystals. Scissors. 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 Well done. The last one. Eraser. Well done. Okay, and move on to the next one. Let's see. With this one, what's number one? Uh, calculator. Number one is. A whole punch, whole punch. Oh, whole punch. Number two is a computer. Calculator. 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 All done. Number three is a large box. Well done. And the last one is a thumbtack. Well done, that's correct. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Number one is a notebook. Well done. Notebook. 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 Well done. Number two is in eraser. Well done, well done. Number three, a stapler. Stapler. Well done, stapler, stapler. Stapler. Well done. Number four is a teaser. <laughs> Well done. Number five is a computer. Well done. Number six is a, a pencil sub picture. Well done. Sharpener. Try to say pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener. Well done. And this one is a a slip terminal. Staple remover. Staple remover. Staple remover. Well done. Next one. What do you think this one is? Uh, two. Well done. Magnifying glass. 
Well done. And this? I hate evil. Not quite. Floppy disk. Floppy disk. Floppy disk. So hard drive. Hard drive. This is this is a hard drive. Do you see what a hard drive looks like? This is a hard drive. Hard drive. Can you see? Then we have a floppy disk. Floppy disk. This is what a floppy disk looks like. Floppy disk. Well done. And the last one is a Well done, rubber bands. Rubber bands. Rubber bands. Well done. Okay. Move on to the next one. Okay, we did this. Sure. This is the one we've just done. Yes. Okay, so from this one, you're supposed to pick Whoa. what this is. One, two, three, four. Three. Well done. Calculator. One, two, three, four. Two. One, two. Well done. Notebook. One, two, three, one. four. Well done. Eraser one, one, two, three, four. Well done. Thumbtack three, 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 four. Three. Well done. Pencil sharpener one. Stepler, stepler. One. What number is stepler? One, two, three, or four? One, two, three, or four? Stepler. Well done. Yes. It was correct. Four. Four. All right. File folders. Four. File folders. One, two, three, four. File four. folders. Four. Remember, floppy disk, floppy disk, floppy disk. Floppy so here disk. we have file folders. This is Notebook, this is calculator, all done. So three are file folders. Let me show you more file folders. Okay. File folders. File folders. Does that make sense? File folders. File folders. File all done. Folders. All done. So this is the correct one. Hole punch, hole punch. One, two, three, four. Hole, hole, hole punch. punch. One, two, three, or four. Then the last one, staple remover. 
Table remover. Table remover. Table remover. Ball. Which one is it? One, oh. two, three, or four? Oh. Well done. Well done. Ah, uh, no, it's two. It's two. Two. This is a staple remover. Two. This is a, a, a hole punch. Is that okay? Okay. Well done. It's two. Okay. Let's move on to the next exercise. Now, this is a listening exercise. Listening exercise. Okay. So, you're supposed to listen and tell me what the answer is. Okay. Let's start. Scissors. Scissors. Three. One, two, three, four. Scissors. Well done. Eraser. Eraser. One. Well done. Staples. Staples. Four. Well done. Next one. Clipboard. 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 One. <laughs> not not quite here. The answer is three. Number three. <laughs> so let me show you what a clipboard looks like. Clip. Clip. Board. <laughs> clipboard. This is what a clipboard, clipboard. looks like. Clipboard. Well done. So this is the clipboard. Clipboard. All right. Next one. Notebook. Notebook. Two. Well done. Next one. Thumbtack. 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 Two. Well done. Pencils. Pencils. One. Well done. Paper clip. Paper clip. Three. Paper clip. Well done. Well done. Well done. Next one. File folders. File folders. File folders. Oh. All done. And the last one is floppy disk. Floppy disk. Floppy disk. Oh. Well done. Well done. Got everything correct. Okay. Let's okay. move on. Uh, Okay, we still have some time. Let's move on to Okay, so let's move on to a basic colors and shape exercises for the rest of the lesson, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's start with basic colors. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, this page doesn't work. Okay, let's see. Shapes. Shape doesn't work. All right, let's find something else. Okay. All right, let's do sports. Oh. 
All right, this is easy. Okay. Number one is? Football. Well done. Two? Basketball. Well done. Three? Baseball. Well done. And the last one is? Uh... Soccer ball. Well done. Okay, the next one is a uh, a tennis ball. Well done. The next one is a uh, a golf ball. Well done. The next one is a uh, a volleyball. I right, let's see. Oh no no no. Uh huh. What is it? Bowling ball. Well done. And the last one is a? Bowling ball. Well, wait. Okay. Let's check our answers. Yes, everything is correct. Okay. Then the last one we have. Uh, what's the first one? What's this one? Is it a tennis racket, a skateboard, a surfboard, or a snowboard? Mm -hmm. What is it? <laughs> Skateboard. Well done. Number two is a tennis racket. Well done. Well done. Number three is a uh snowboard. Well done. And the last one is a a shop board. Well done. That's very correct. Okay. Move on to exercise two. One A. A. Okay, so it's the same. What's number one? Basketball. Well done. Number two? A. No ball. No ball. Well done. Three? Baseball. All done. Four. Baller ball. All done. Five. Football. Well done. And the last one is a. Kate watch. All done. Okay. Then we move on to exercise. Two, let's see here. Number one is a, a I hooker. Okay, let's see. Hockey. Hockey. So this is a hockey. Can you see? Then we have a hockey. Hockey player. So hockey which one player. is this one? <laughs> so what's this one? This one is a? Hockey player. Well done. The next one is a? A golf player. Well done, but they are called gold. golfers. So here the correct answer is golfer. Golfer. Does that make sense? Well done. This one is called a. Bowling ball player. Oh. <laughs> 
Thì nó không thoát ra chứ không có bị lỗi gì đâu
Hello. 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 All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Can you still see my screen? So this is a bowler. Bowler. All right. And this one is a a football player. Well done. And this one is a a soccer ball player. Right, so it's a soccer player only. Soccer player. Soccer player. Well then. And this one is a. A snow killer. Nope, not quite. This is a scuba diver. Scuba diver. Scuba diver. Scuba diver. Well done. And this is a surfing player. It's called a surfer. 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 Well done. And this one is a holding a volleyball. So she is a volley volley player. Volleyball player. Well then, he's a volleyball player. Volleyball player. Vo volleyball player. Well then, and this is a basketball player. Well then, and the last one is a. Get border. Well done, well done. Okay, so we'll continue from here tomorrow. Is that okay? Okay. So you can call Tin now. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Tin. How are you? I'm fine, Tin. Thanks, Gil. And you? I am good as well. I'm sorry about yesterday. I know you guys were waiting for me. My internet working properly yet, so it was giving me problems. But um, I'm sure starting tomorrow it should be working fine. So we can do our lessons normally now. Is that okay? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. So um, today we'll try to do some more listening practice. Is that okay? Okay. All right. So let's start with uh, something, something new.
we were quite long though so you have to really pay attention it's three minutes long then we'll answer the the questions afterwards is that okay so i'm starting now hello i decided to send you a speaking letter it's much more fun than a normal letter or email Today it's very hot here in my town. We can't use our swimming pool because they are cleaning it. I hope tomorrow it will be cloudy and not so hot. Your last letter to me was very interesting. Every time you write to me, I learn something new. You have a very interesting life and I like your family from the way you describe them. I was very sorry to hear about your sister being in the hospital. I hope she gets better very soon. Now I want to talk to you about your visit to England in the summer. I was very happy to read that you bought your plane ticket last week. Now it's really happening. After you arrive at the airport, you can catch a train that takes you to my town. Billington. I wrote to you before about Billington. It's not very big, but it's a very pretty town. It has a lot of history. I can take you to some very historic places when you come, like the old castle and a big country house that a prince lived in nearly 300 years ago. Anyway, when you get off the train at Billington Station, my house is very near. You come out of the station and you are in Station Road. It's a big road and there are large old trees on both sides of the road. Continue down Station Road for about 200 meters. There is a big school on your left. That was my school. After you pass the school, take the first road on the right. It's called Silver Lane. My best friend Jemima lives in Silver Lane. You will meet her when you are here. Take the first right when you are in Silver Lane. The road is called Birch Drive. It's a small road and there are some little shops on the left. Continue down Birch Drive for about 100 metres. Our house is on the left. It's the first house after Maple Road. In my next letter, I will tell you about some things that we will do during our trip. We can visit London. I know you want to do that. And the sea isn't very far away either. Now I have to finish something important for my college sociology course. I look forward to seeing you next month. Visiting England will really help your English. Goodbye, and I'll speak to you soon. All right. So, did you understand that? Did you understand that? All right. All right. So, let's try to answer the questions. Okay. So you're supposed to choose yes for the places she mentions and no for the places she doesn't talk about. Did she mention a disco? Yes. Did she mention a disco? Okay, let's try. Let's see. Yes. A lighthouse. Did she mention a lighthouse? Right. Hospital. No. She mentioned a hospital when she said um uh the friend's sister was in hospital. The friend's sister was in hospital. Does that make sense? All right. Um a museum. Yes. All right. 
train station the C It's a yes for this one because she mentioned uh, that they will go to London and they will also go to see the sea. Is that okay? Okay. Oh wow, there's a mini. Okay. Country house. No. Cinema. Yes. Who? Yes. Park. No. Park. No. Airport. No. Bank. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Yes. Lake. No. Castle. No. Castle was there. When she said that she would take her to see a castle that a prince lived in 300 years ago. Um, okay, the last one fountain. Yeah. No. All right, so let's mark our answers and see what we got. We got 10 out of 16. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll listen to this. Let's move on to another exercise. We'll come back to this again tomorrow when we have time. We'll do it. We'll listen to it again, then answer the questions again. Is that okay? Okay. All right, so now let's find some passages that are shorter. Okay. Let's do this too. Then we finish for today. Okay. So you will hear Ben and Susan speaking on the telephone. Answer the following questions with true or false. So I'm playing the audio now. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Hi, Susan. Is that you, Ben? Yes, I'm sorry to call you. That's okay. Is there a problem at home? There are three problems. Oh, I hope it's nothing serious. No, don't worry. Just little problems. Okay. What's the first one? I don't know how to use the oven. You mean you can't cook? No, I can cook. I can't put the oven on. Work. My oven at home is electric. One is gas. Okay, I understand. Light a match first. Where are the matches? On top of the fridge. Ah, oh, okay. Then... Push in the orange knob, the one with a big letter O in the center. Then what? Keep the orange knob pressed, put the match in the oven, and it will start. Okay, then I release the orange knob. No, wait for about five seconds, then you can release it. Thanks. Now, the next problem is the DVD player. DVD is it, but it doesn't open. Okay, that happens sometimes. Push the eject button. Did that? Yes, but keep it pushed for a few seconds. That sometimes works. If not? Read the manual. It's in the little cabinet under the TV. Thanks. What's next? Sorry. You said three problems. Oh, yes. The cat's in the garden. It's raining, and the cat is crying. Open a can of cat food. Go to the door and show Timmy the cat. He will come in. He always does. Okay. Thanks, Susan, for everything. 
See you tonight. See you later. All right. Did you understand that one? Yes, a little. Should I try play it again? So try to play it again. Should I try it one more time? Yes, yes. All right. Susan? Is that you, Ben? Yes, I'm sorry to call you. That's okay. Is there a problem at home? There are three problems. Oh, I hope it's nothing serious. No, don't worry. Just little problems. Okay. What's the first one? I don't know how to. Mean you can't cook? No, I can cook. But I can't put the oven on. The oven at home is electric. One is gas. Okay, I understand. Light a match first. Where are the matches? On top of the fridge. Ah, uh, okay. Then, push in the orange knob, the one with a big letter O in the center. Then what? Keep the orange knob pressed, put the match in the oven, and it will start. Okay, then I release the orange knob. No. Wait for about five seconds, then you can release it. Thanks. Now, next problem is the DVD player. There's a DVD inside it, but it doesn't open. Okay, that happens sometimes. Push the eject button. I did that. Yes, but keep it pushed for a few seconds. That sometimes works. And if not? Read the manual. It's in the little cabinet under the TV. Thanks. What's next? Sorry. You said three problems. Oh, yes. The cat's in the garden, and it's raining, and the cat is crying. Open a can of cat food. Go to the door and show Timmy the cat. He will come in. He always does. Okay. Thanks, Susan, for everything. See you tonight. See you later. All right. Was that better? All right, so let's try to answer the questions now. Okay, so you answer with true or false. Okay, so number one, Susan is working in her office. Is that true or false? True. Well then, Ben can't cook. Is that true or false? Oh, ben. Well then. Ben has an electric cooker in his house. True or false? He has an electric cooker. That is true because Susan has a gas cooker. See the pictures? Susan has a gas cooker. A gas cooker Two. looks like Two. this. Two. All right, let's move on. True. And the next one. The matches are in the fridge. The matches to stop the gas cooker are in the fridge. Is that true or false? Susan says the matches are on top of the fridge. So is this statement oh, true or false? Okay, oh. well done. Ben needs to press the orange knob for about five seconds. Ben needs to press the orange knob for about five seconds. True or false? I think, uh... Okay, let's try that one. There is a DVD manual that Ben can read. There is a Two. DVD manual. Well done. The weather is sunny. Four. Um, two. No, it's false because it's raining outside. 
Remember, there is a cat outside and it's raining. So the weather is not sunny. Is that okay? Then this one is true. Ben needs to press the orange knob for about five seconds for the ga gas cooker to start. Is that okay? Okay, okay. All right, then the last one. The cat's name is Tommy. Is that true or false? The cat's name is Tommy. True. It's what? Two. Again, that's false because the cat's name is Timmy. Timmy. Is that okay? Yes. All right, let's okay, mark okay. our answers. So for the first one, it's Susan's working. Susan is not working in the office. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, so let's move on to the last one for today. Mm, okay, let's see. H2. Let's see if we can find something here. All right. At the department. Okay, that's too long. Two minutes 46, two minutes 41. One minute fifty eight. Okay, so let's try this one at the airport. So it's two minutes long. Try to listen carefully again. What's the first thing you want to do when we get to London, Mike? No. I really want to see the Tower of London. I suppose we have to go to Buckingham Palace as soon as possible. I just hope the weather isn't too bad. My uncle went last year in August, and he said it rained every day for a week. I think it is going to be sunny this week, so don't worry. Now, where is our plane flying from? Do you know which gate we need to go to? I really can't remember. Look, over there, there is one of those TV screens with all the flight departure information. Let's go and have a look at that. We still have a lot of time. Why do you always get so nervous at airports? Not nervous, Jen. I just don't want to be the last person getting on the plane. Remember last year going to Germany when everybody was waiting for us? That was so embarrassing. Okay, it's all up there. Look, there are flights London, British Airways leaves at 10 o'clock, American Airlines also leaves at 10 o'clock, and Air India leaves at 10 past 10. Who are we flying with? I know it's not Air India, is it? American Airlines. We fly with them. So the departure is 10 o'clock, but what gate is it? It says, please wait in departure lounge up on the screen, so I guess we have to just wait here. That's very strange, because the British Airways flight leaves at the same time, but gate 7 is written up there. I don't know, Jen. Maybe there's a problem, but we don't have very long to wait. Oh, look. Our flight information is there. We have to go to gate 24. Flight board's at 9.30. Great. Now, where is gate 24? Is it on the eastern or the western side of the airport? Look at the yellow sign. We have to catch the airport shuttle for all gates from 10 to 30. Let's go. That's the west of the airport, and it takes about 10 minutes to get there. We're going to London. All right. Did you understand that one? All right. So let's try to answer the questions. Then we can end the lesson for today. Is that okay? All right, so the first question is, Mike wants to go and see the Tower of London. Is that true or false? True. Well done. It never rains in London in August. Is that true or false? True. Okay. 
Jan doesn't remember the correct gate number. Mike has terrible memories about his trip to Germany. Swan. All right, so Jane, Jen doesn't remember the gate number. That's true. It never rains in London in August. Uh, that's false. Uh, no, that's true. That's true. Mike has terrible memories about his trip to Germany. That's true. Okay. Okay. All right, let's try the last ones. There are three flights leaving at 10 o'clock. Is that true or false? Okay. Mike knows which airline they are flying with. True or false? Okay. Uh, There's a problem with the British Airways flight. True or false? All right. They are going to walk to the gate. Is that true or false? In, uh... Uh, well done okay so everything else is correct except except one okay so that's that's okay I uh, will look at these again tomorrow. We'll just revise this tomorrow before our lesson for tomorrow. Is that okay? So we'll okay. do two, the two that we had some answers that were wrong. Then we'll move on to something else tomorrow. Is that okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. All right, I'll see you.